My duty is to help and assist. I'm on earth. I will worship Allah and together with worshiping Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, I am taught to serve the creatures of Allah that Allah will dangle in front of me. When I say dangle in front of me, Allah chooses who you are going to interact with, not by mistake, simply because he wants to watch what you're going to do with that person, to that person, or how you're going to treat them and so on. You have a worker working for you. Allah planned it before you were born that this person is going to come they're going to steal from you. They're going to do this bad and that bad. What is your reaction? That's all. We knew this was going to happen. La ilaha illallah. Have you thought of it? You are married to someone. Allah already knew that. Just in order to test you, how will you treat her or him? How will you treat the families, the folks? You know, yes, our in-laws. There's always a question about in-laws, in-laws. I'd be honest with you. In-laws are lovely people as well. Aren't we in-laws? Mashallah. I do have some who call me father-in-law, mashallah, because some of my children are married. I would like them to think of me as a good person. The problem is there is a stigma attached to that term, right? We need to make sure we understand it's a test for all parties to be the best possible version of themselves. My duty unto Allah is not just worshipping Allah in terms of salah and zakah and in terms of uh, fasting and so on without being concerned about how I treat the creatures of Allah.